is an extensive 20-year study done on the effects of marijuana on lung damage. And the findings of the study were really interesting because what they did is they uh, tracked 5,000 adults for 20 years. And uh, some of the adults smoked cigarettes. Some of the adults smoked marijuana. And what they wanted to see is whether or not they had the same type of effects on lung function. What they found was that obviously cigarettes are much more negative to your lung health. However, if you are an occasional marijuana smoker, if you smoke two to three times a month, it can actually improve your lung capacity. That sounds crazy. I no, can't but I'll tell that. you why. This is their theory, and I and I think this is a really interesting theory. Keep in mind that, relatively speaking, marijuana smokers smoke less than cigarette smokers. Of course. So expose themselves to uh, lung damage less, I guess you could say. Right. So anyway, but here's the theory that the doctors have. And doctors from UCLA and UC San Francisco did this study. Mm -hmm. What they think is that when you, when you are smoking marijuana, people tend to take really, really deep breaths. They inhale deeply. They hold. Mm -hmm. And then they exhale. And because of that, it somehow increases lung capacity. <laughs> That's so funny, man. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. But the reason, like, I, I'm a little skeptical is because there's just been too many great studies on marijuana. Like, right. every study is like, no, it turns out, you know, marijuana makes you smarter. It improves your memory. It improves your lung capacity. It makes your schlong longer. Okay. And I'm like, come on, there's a reason here on how great pot can be. Right. And this is the one thing we made illegal. Well, with anything, you need to read the fine print. And with all of these studies, they talk about occasional marijuana use. Okay, they don't mm -hmm. talk about people who toke up every day. Mm -hmm. All right, if, if you do it 20 times a month, then you're definitely harming your lungs, right? right. Because you're exposing yourself to too much smoke. Um, but this is a fascinating study, and also you got to keep in mind that this is something that was done over the course of 20 years and it's a very extensive study. Also, no, no, it's perfectly legitimate. Those are great universities that have done it. I mean, uh, it doesn't mean they're right, but it, it means that they uh, put significant uh, research behind it. Right. And so I believe it. It's just amazing that like alcohol will screw you up big time, right? Perfectly legal. <laughs> like uh, turns out occasional marijuana use in a couple of different ways is pretty good for you. We're like illegal. It's dangerous. Dangerous. Danger, danger, right? It's how what you know how we make our laws is ridiculous. And not only have we decided it's super dangerous, but we've locked up millions of people for smoking a drug that apparently is kind of good for you if you smoke it in moderation. By the way, I also highly recommend that you guys check out a report done by the Schaefer Commission back in the 1970s. This is a study that was commissioned by Nixon, okay? And Nixon basically wanted them to find that marijuana is harmful to public safety. What the study found was that marijuana is not harmful at all. And okay. so, of course, Nixon tore it up Ripped and threw it, it in the garbage. Yeah. Not kidding. Look into the story. It's amazing. Yeah. So anytime you want to take pot, the government keeps telling you, no, 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 no.